Hello everyone, Sandip here. Welcome to our journey to the fascinating Angel Falls. Imagine a place where the water cascades from such an enormous height that it turns into a mist before it even touches the ground. This is no figment of your imagination, but a real place on our beautiful planet. Named after the aviator Jimmy Angel who popularized it, Angel Falls is a marvel of the natural world, a place that seems to exist more in the realm of dreams than reality. Nestled in the heart of Canaima National Park in the Gran Sabana region of Venezuela, Angel Falls is a sight to behold. This magnificent waterfall drops from the height of the Aoyan Tepui Mountain, a staggering 3,212 feet, making it the highest waterfall in the world. To put it in perspective, it's over 15 times the height of Niagara Falls. Now, you might be wondering why it's called Angel Falls. Well, the waterfall is named after Jimmy Angel, a US aviator, who in 1933 crash-landed on the Aoyan Tepui Plateau while searching for a gold ore bed. His plane remained on top of the Tepui for 33 years, and the waterfall was named in his honor. The name, however, does not only commemorate Jimmy Angel, but also seems to capture the ethereal beauty of the place. With the water cascading from such an incredible height, it seems as if angels themselves might have come down from the heavens, leaving trails of their passage in the form of this splendid waterfall. So Angel Falls is not just a waterfall, it's a testament to human exploration and the splendid quirks of our planet, an embodiment of nature's grandeur and a symbol of the indomitable spirit of adventure. It's a place where the water doesn't just fall, it dances, it sings, it tells stories of the ages. Now that you know a bit about Angel Falls, it's time to dive deeper into its mesmerizing beauty. So, how did people come to know about this magnificent waterfall? Let's uncover its discovery. The year was 1933. An adventurous American aviator named Jimmy Angel was in Venezuela on a quest for gold. Following a tip from a local miner, Angel flew over the dense jungle of the Guiana Highlands, only to stumble upon a sight that left him awestruck. A waterfall of unprecedented height cascading from an uncharted tabletop mountain. It was a sight of such breathtaking beauty that it overshadowed his original quest for gold. Angel couldn't shake off the image of the waterfall from his mind. Four years later, in 1937, he decided to land his four-seater plane on top of the falls. However, his plane got mired in the marshy ground, stranding Angel, his wife and two companions atop the falls. They had to trek down the mountain, a journey that took them an excruciating 11 days. The news of their adventure spread far and wide, and soon the waterfall that Jimmy Angel had chanced upon began to be known internationally as Angel Falls, in his honor. But it's worth noting that the indigenous Pemon tribe, who had long inhabited the area, already had a name for this majestic waterfall. They called it Kerepakupai Vena, which translates to Waterfall of the Deepest Place. In a way, the story of Angel Falls is a tale of two worlds. One, the world of Jimmy Angel, a man driven by ambition and the thrill of discovery. And the other, the world of the Pemon tribe, deeply connected to the land and its natural wonders. The interplay of these two perspectives adds a unique depth to the narrative of Angel Falls. Jimmy Angel's adventurous discovery has certainly added an intriguing layer to the story of Angel Falls. This waterfall, Born out of a geological marvel and brought to global attention by an adventurous quest continues to enchant visitors with its awe-inspiring grandeur and fascinating history. Getting to Angel Falls is an adventure in itself. Are you ready? Our journey to Angel Falls, the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall, begins with a flight. We're not talking about a typical commercial flight, but a smaller, perhaps more exciting plane ride to Kanaima Camp. This isn't your usual airport, but a gateway to an untouched world, a place where civilization has barely left a footprint. Once we land at Kanema, we're not just stepping off a plane, we're stepping into a world that feels frozen in time. A place where the modern world seems like a distant memory. But this is just the beginning of our journey. From Kanaima camp, we embark on a river trip. Picture this, gliding through the water on a kuriara a traditional indigenous canoe surrounded by the dense, verdant greenery of the rainforest. The river, our highway to Angel Falls, twists and turns through the landscape, each bend revealing new wonders. As we move deeper into the rainforest, the distant roar of the falls becomes a constant companion, growing louder with each passing moment. 
But it's not just the sound of the falls that's captivating. It's the anticipation, the thrill of knowing that we're getting closer to beholding one of nature's most spectacular sights. The final leg of our journey is a hike. It's not an easy trek, but the promise of what lies ahead fuels our determination. As we navigate the rugged terrain, every step takes us closer to the base of the falls, closer to the moment we've been waiting for. The journey to Angel Falls is more than just a trip. It's a voyage into the heart of the wild, a chance to experience a world that remains largely untouched by the modern world. Reaching Angel Falls is surely not a walk in the park, but the journey is worth every bit of the effort. For when you finally stand at the base of the falls, feeling the spray of the water and hearing the roar of the falls, you'll know that every step, every moment was worth it. Angel Falls isn't just about the waterfall. It's also home to a rich variety of life. Now imagine a world that thrives on the misty shoulders of a cloud forest, a place where unique species carve out their existence, a place that sits atop the mighty Tepui. This is the world around Angel Falls. The cloud forest that blankets the Tepui is a living, breathing testament to nature's resilience. It's a realm of lush greenery where mosses, ferns and orchids create a vibrant tapestry. These plants have adapted to the harsh conditions on the plateau, thriving in an environment where many others would falter. But the flora isn't the only thing that makes this place unique. Angel Falls is a haven for a host of fauna, some of which are found nowhere else in the world. The Pantepui toad, a creature as ancient as the Tepui itself, calls this region home. This tiny amphibian with its distinctive bright markings is a marvel of adaptation, a true testament to the wonders of evolution. And then there are the birds. Oh, the birds! This region is a birder's paradise. From the majestic harpy eagle, with its piercing gaze and powerful talons, to the diminutive hummingbird, flitting from flower to flower in a blur of iridescent color, the avian life around Angel Falls is as diverse as it is stunning. The journey to Angel Falls is not just a visual feast, but also a symphony of sounds. The roar of the waterfall is punctuated by the calls of monkeys and the rustling of leaves as capybaras, the world's largest rodents, forage for food. The occasional rustle in the undergrowth might just be a jaguar on the prowl, adding an element of thrill to the journey. All these elements, the unique flora and the fascinating fauna, create a rich tapestry of life around Angel Falls. It's not just about the breathtaking waterfall, but also about the vibrant ecosystem that surrounds it. The vibrant life around Angel Falls adds to the allure of this natural wonder. Now that you've learned so much about Angel Falls, you must be wondering when to visit. Well, let's dive right into it. Like most waterfalls, Angel Falls is at its most spectacular during the rainy season. In this case, that's between June and December. The falls swell with the rain, cascading down the cliff face with an awe-inspiring roar. It's a sight that truly takes your breath away. But remember, the rain can make the journey a bit more challenging, so be prepared for a bit of an adventure. Visiting Angel Falls isn't just a matter of packing your bags and hopping on a plane though. The falls are located in the Kanaima National Park, which is a protected area. That means you'll need a permit to visit. Don't worry though, the process is pretty straightforward and it's definitely worth it for the chance to see Angel Falls up close. Aside from the permit, you'll also need a guide. The terrain around Angel Falls is rugged and wild and it's easy to get lost if you don't know the way. Plus, a guide can tell you all about the local flora and fauna, making your trip even more enriching. And finally, let's talk about where you'll stay. The Kanema Camp is the go-to place for visitors to Angel Falls. It has everything you need, from comfortable accommodations to a restaurant serving local cuisine. Plus, it's the perfect base for your explorations of the area with easy access to the falls and other attractions. So, there you have it. The best time to visit Angel Falls, the need for permits and guides, and the facilities at Kanema Camp. It might seem like a lot to take in, but trust me, the experience is worth every bit of the effort. With the right planning, a visit to Angel Falls can be an unforgettable experience.